Hi Pisces, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign. Remember they're general readings. Not everything's gonna resonate with everybody. That is just fine. Use your own discernment. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and this resonates, hit the subscribe button for your key to the week this week, you've got the faith card. So in this deck, this is the Hierophant, right? And this does mean that in all of these different areas this week, it is your faith that either is tested or it's your faith that gets you through. Now, the Hierophant card can also show up as hospitals as well. So that's also a possibility. Um, we're going to have to see what obviously all of the other cards are. But this is also about your routines and rituals. It's about the things that you do on a consistent basis and the results that they either do or don't give you. So you've got the three of pentacles as your actions and options. So for a lot of you, this is going to be a week of profound learning. And it might even be a week where you decide to collaborate with somebody uh, to bridge the gap between you and knowledge that you feel that you are meant to have, right? So for some of you, this could be a return to education. For some of you, this could be deciding to embark on some form of a course. For a lot of you, this can be some form of an interview as well. So I wouldn't be surprised if you get like a... Uh, a job interview of some sort show up. There does appear to be a delay with it in, in some regard though, all right? Just, it's because of the combination of cards. The other thing that I will say about this as well, when it comes to those of you, uh, sorry, the options that are available to you, this is a chance for you to get ahead by taking on board certain advice, but that advice that you're given at this time, you might find that it's quite shocking in some, not shocking, but it's almost like when someone gives you a piece of advice, you, your first instinct might be to either ignore it or to kind of say, well, you know, what does this person know? They haven't got their own shit together, so why are they telling me about mine? Um, but yet, yeah, that little niggle that sits within you is because the information that they're giving you is pertinent, right? It means that you know that there's a, some nugget of truth there, which is probably why it digs or grates so much. <clears throat> For your communications and conversations, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. So an earth sign woman, more than likely a Taurus woman, features for you in some way, shape or form. The um, Queen of Pentacles tends to show up as your, um, on a sort of more personal level, this is a, where we practically, like in a practical way, need to nourish and nurture our communications when it comes to our colleagues, the people that work with, that we work with, the people that we work alongside, all of that kind of stuff. And with the Three of Pentacles, this may be the person that's giving you the insight. It might be the person that's giving you the information and you might kind of be so resistant to it. And, you know, you really need to look at why. Don't look at the fact that you're resisting. Look at look behind that to the reason why you are resisting. Um, now, when it comes to those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, the Queen of Pentacles is asking you to put a structure in place, right? This is where you really start working on the structure and the routines and the things that you're doing consistently or not, as the case might be. Now, when it comes to your... Um, come on brain, when it comes to your... Those of you that are employed by somebody else, one way that this could also show up is that you start to notice that the culture within your workplace either does or doesn't support you and you're not here for it, right? Like this could be a week where you really sort of observe some stuff in the workplace that makes you feel not undervalued. It's not that at all, but it's like where you look around the workplace and you realise okay, you know what, I don't feel like I'm getting the level of respect, the title, the money, whatever it is uh, that I feel like I'm, I'm entitled to or that I deserve, and I go, I'm going to need to do something about it. I will say before you go off half-cocked and start sort of screaming and shouting about it, not that many of you would, but you know what I mean, um, it might be an idea to have the conversation 
The Queen of Pentacles is about it, right? She'll show up for herself in the way that she needs to. And so if you have never had the conversation about a pay rise with your boss, you can't complain that you haven't got one right like this week you've got to take responsibility for the actions that you either have or haven't put into motion and then go from there when it comes to those of you that are uh, business owners entrepreneurs solopreneurs people that work for themselves queen of pentacles again you've got to bring some structure into your business and with the hierophant card this could be where you're interacting with bigger or larger institutions than your own business that could actually be very supportive for you in the long run providing you're willing to take on board or shift or change some of the ways that you're doing things you don't have to change everything but it's almost like through some form of emulation this week you could actually you know you might find you know what that's the thing that I need to emulate in order to reach a new level for my, my personal business. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, taking care of the practical elements, specifically your physical health and vitality. And if I had to really get into it, I would say this is probably in line with like your physical structure. Now for your love and relations, you've got the Knight of Swords. So it's possible so for those of you that are partnered married or in long-term commitments the hierophant is a marriage card it's possible that it's your partner that's giving you advice or information that maybe you feel is unsolicited maybe you don't feel like it's helpful maybe it doesn't maybe it's just not the the you know the advice that you would like or maybe it just doesn't feel like you know oh you're even paying attention to my situation whatever it is there is a possibility that it could cause a little bit of friction this week and in order for you to kind of really move ahead, you are going to need to kind of take it on board. And I say this because it looks like this person's, whatever it is that they're saying to you, they are right in what they're saying. You might not like it. You might not like that they particularly are able to give you such an insight on something that maybe you feel like you should have for yourself. But they are right. For those of you that are single and looking, the Knight of Swords, it's probably going to be on your commute, whether this is a commute to work, whether it's to the gym, whether it's even to the hospital or to the doctors. You are potentially meeting or connecting with somebody here. Um, there are possibilities, right? For your money and materials, you have the Five of Wands. So if there are any disputes or arguments or disagreements about things or uh, unsolicited advice, it will probably have a financial slant to it. Also worth mentioning, on the 18th of the month, my tarot course is going to open up for enrollment. It will go right the way through until the 30th of the month, upon which time it will close. Remember, there's only 20 spaces. You're going to see this. You'll see it all on all of my socials, and I'll put out a video and stuff about it as usual. But uh, if you want to learn tarot, if you want to learn how to read like me, and you want to do it like Rafi, you know what to do. Um, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, the Five of Wands is actually a good card for physical health and vitality because it tends to show up as actions that need to be taken. So for some of you, you could be getting back to the gym, getting back to workouts. Remember, the Hierophant card is about what you do on a consistent basis. It's also the number five. You've got two fives here. Two fives is a vigil. So you might find some of you are going on a retreat that's aimed at health and vitality. Maybe you're booking one. Maybe you're booking a holiday. Uh, for others, this could be that you are joining a group or a group session or maybe even group exercise or whatever the case might be. But you're doing something and you're not doing it alone. And this is aimed at improving or enhancing your health. Finally, when it comes to your home, uh, another way that this could also show up as well is uh, a visit or a revisit to a hospital in some regard. And then finally, when it comes to your uh, home and environment, the Five of Wands, there is a possible dispute brewing in the family. We can see that because the, the uh, love of relations is also familial ties. You've got the Knight of Swords. That's a, a conflict card. You've got the Five of uh, Wands in the home. So there's a home and family problem or issue that could arise this week. And when it does... It could potentially be quite loud, all right? So just watch out for this. With that said, let me know in the comments how it shapes up. I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Take care, and I'll see you soon.